Hello everyone and welcome to another part of the Calamity Traveler's Guide. Today we are looking at the Sulphurous Seed. The Sulphurous Sea is a new biome added by Calamity mod. It replaces the ocean on the side of the world. The water is acidic and will deal damage. There are new items, events and bosses here, so let's get into those. There are many different items here, like the Danny DeVito pet. But other than that, there are new weapons that can be found here like the Rusty Beacon prototype, Belching Saxophone and the Sulfuric Acid Cannon. There is also an accessory which is the Rusty Medallion, which is a Ranger class accessory. It has a chance of dropping 3 acidic droplets from the sky when using Ranger weapons. It also inflicts the Irradiated debuff. But these are some items that drop from the normal state of the Sulfuric Sea. There is also the Acid Rain. The Acid Rain is an event that has a chance of starting after killing the Eye of Cthulhu. It includes a lot of new items and some mini bosses. The event has different stages after defeating specific bosses. It starts at stage 1 and ends at stage 3. This can be compared to the Old One's Army event. The first one starts after defeating the Eye of Cthulhu. The second one starts after defeating the Aquatic Scourge and the third one is after Poltergast. The Acid Drain also drops a new pre ball material which is the Sulfuric Scale. It allows the player to craft weapons and armor just like other ingots. There are also a lot of weapons. Let me name some of them. Flag Toxicannon, a ranged weapon, Slithering Eels, a mage weapon, Skyping Bombers and Spent Fuel Containers. They are both rogue weapons. These are just some of the weapons. The others and accessories will be on the screen. Most are dropped by the old duke boss. And speaking of old duke... The old duke is a boss that spawns at the third stage of the acid rain event, at the end of the event. It can also be spawned for bloodworm in the sulfurous sea. The old duke behaves mostly like duke fishron but old. Its phases are similar too, like in the last phase it becomes translucent. But there are some differences between the old duke and the duke fishron, like the old duke having some resistance to specific weapons. From my experience, the only things you can do to make the fight easier is to dodge its attacks and wait for it to lose stamina, then attack. That's it about the old duke, but there is another boss. Now personally, I haven't fought the Aquatic Scourge that many times, like I only fought it once, so I'm getting 90% of the info from the wiki. The Aquatic Scourge can spawn randomly, or you can spawn it with an item called Seafood. The boss initially spawns passive, but gets aggressive when attacked. The boss is a worm boss that spits out projectiles, so essentially a more interesting and more damage dealing destroyer. From my experience, weapons with large damage area are the best against this boss because it's BIG. As for more tips on beating it, you just need to build an arena. If you can dodge good, you won't have a problem with this boss. And that was all for the Sulfurous Sea. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.